Tower Bridge of London, built in 1886, designed by Sir Horace Jones. This building is over 130 years and it is still standing strong and magnificent. So we're walking on the bridge, the Tower Bridge of London, City of London. That's uh, how it looks like from the bridge. It splits in the middle for the ships to pass through. Many people, especially outside the UK, they get mixed up with uh, London Bridge. This is this is actually Tower Bridge of London. London Bridge, however, is that one. That is London Bridge. The simple looking bridge is London Bridge. And that over there, the middle section that rises from both sides to give way to the ships passing by. Those are the walkways. It was built so that people could sort of cross the river when this uh, bridge was lifted up. But after many years, I think people stopped using those walkways and uh, it was closed for public. Now it's uh, a tourist attraction where you have to buy a ticket from there and then a guide will or you can go and explore how it was uh, or how it is like walking in that walkways. There's a glass um, thingy as well where you can sit and enjoy so this is the intersection where it splits. This road, both ways, opens up. So from here, I'm going to take you to some of the most popular places in London. Not all of them, but, but some. First of all, we need to get out of here and take cheap train, which is London Underground Train. So, we will take London Underground which is not far from here and um, this is the chapel of St. Peter of Vencula. it was built in 1520 it's beautiful right it's just next to the Tower Bridge of London it's massive So London, City of London or London has a network of tube trains which runs under the ground. So uh, it's also known as tube trains or London Underground. And uh, it serves more than 274 stations or 274, something around that. And it covers uh, everywhere from central London to outer London. And it's the most convenient and easiest mode of transport commuting across around London normally during office hours or peak times it's very busy um, but today New Year's Day Sunday probably it's not so busy let's find that out hmm. 
I don't know why these walls have those little slits. Looks like those are for the sentries or guards to look outside. Looks like a castle, but it's a chapel. Well, once again, this is Tower Bridge, London. And we are now heading to some other popular places in London. This is back of the St. Peter Chapel. So here I am at one of the underground stations of London. This station is called Tower Hill. That red circle with blue line, that's the symbol of underground train. Let's go inside. Tower Hill Station. You have to get something like this called Oyster Card. Get in, like that. Wherever you want to go. So this time, we are going to Okay, our first stop will be Piccadilly Circus and we are going to take this circle or district line to Embankment and change to Bakerloo Line to Piccadilly Circus. So this one circle line Victoria, we can take this one. So, I'm still in the underground. We're actually a few hundred, a few hundred feet under the ground at the moment. So, let's check this out. That way is the bigger line. So. Smoking, vaping, smoking e cigarettes is not permitted anywhere on the underground at any time. It is That's only about two stops. We are under the ground at the moment. Up there is all the road, road network. And underground, under the ground, it's all rail network. So we take this one, Piccadilly Circus there. Let's see which way is the train coming from, this way or that way. That's the tube. Here we are, it's quite busy, crowded. Uh, 
Although this one is okay, this one's empty. London is one of the busiest cities in the world. Something's happening out there. Let's see what is happening. Ah, uh, what's happening there? Day parade. Oh, okay. Is that army? Sorry? Army or? No, no, New Year's Day. Just the New Year parade. Loads of different events going oh, on. Oh, I see. Really. Loads of different events. Okay, parades. cool. of London. It is busy, it's beautiful. It's across the road. Look at that big screen. Oh, someone's playing. Everyone's, everyone looks happy here right there. Very happy. It's normally more crowded than it is at the moment. So from here up there you can go to Chinatown. It's quite famous for a lot of selection of Chinese cuisine and it gets busier at night. So let's go and have a look what is in Chinatown. I'll do less talking now. Some of the roads are closed.
Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go to Chinatown. Chinatown for some food. What time is it? It is hmm, about two o'clock. So this is Chinatown. Lots of outside sittings nowadays during COVID lockdown. I think when uh, when the lockdown was lifted in 2020, all the local councils uh, asked restaurant owners to make seating spaces outside the restaurant so that it's not crowded inside the restaurant. So they have it's not enough space. But now COVID is over and pretty much. Uh, but restaurants have still not taken those outside sitting areas out and so this is Chinatown it's not big but you know you get lots of Chinese food and Vietnamese food Thai food predominantly Chinese Chinese yeah. this one seems nice it's quite the people are queued up Check the menus out. These are the food you get here. Famous, right? We go and explore the other side. Let's have a walk. some restaurants here as well. Chinese gift shop inside. And these are fast food. Let's see what you get in Chinese gift shop. Uh, 
I don't speak Chinese. Okay. What, what, what is this? This is about uh, Falun Gong. And is this a meditation? Yeah. Uh, I see. Mm, but the Chinese Communist Party persecuted right. Falun Gong okay. like dinner, okay. and also forced to take the organ. This is their life. Yeah. They forced to take the organ. Yeah. The killing the people is really evil. Right? Oh. Yeah. Mm. Just we, we want to hear, tell the people to help us stop. Stop the people. The hill. Nah. Them. Yeah. Would you like to sign the petition? Uh, no, I'll come back. I'm, I'm doing the filming, so I'll, I'll come back and sign, okay? I, I couldn't understand, but I think it's something to do with healing, meditative healing. <laughs> meditative healing. Whoever wants to heal their soul, they can come here in Chinatown and sign the petition. Okay, there's some more down there. Let's go and check it out.